All right, welcome to the eighth lesson of our tutorial series on how to create 2048. For this lesson, we're going to be working on moving our fill objects and having them combined. All right, so to get started with moving the fill objects to their new positions and combining fill objects that have the same value, we want to open up our fill 2048 script. The first thing that we're going to be handling is moving the fill objects. To do this, we want to add back in our update function. All we have to do is move the fill objects towards its parent when its position is different than its parents. For this, we'll need a new variable, which will be a serialized field of type float, and we'll call this speed. And then inside the update function, we can add in an if statement where we'll check to see if transform.localPosition does not equal vector3.0. Inside this if statement, we'll then update the local position of this fill object. So transform.localPosition equals vector3.move towards. The first parameter will be transform.localPosition, and the second will be vector3.0. The third parameter will then be speed times time dot delta time. And that should be all that we need in order to move the fill objects. So let's go ahead and save this script and we'll go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we want to select our fill prefab and then we can set the speed variable. And I'll set it to three for now. I'll then click the play button and I'll press the space bar to add in some fill objects. And then I can press a direction. And this time I'll press a different direction that I haven't tested yet. So I'll press S, and they, oh, they're moving, but it's so slow. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to bump that up, or maybe just take the time dot delta time away. All right, let's try 100. All right, let's try A. It's better, but it's still pretty slow. And so maybe I'll bump it up to 2,000. All right, so when I press S, that looks a lot better. Now the second part for this lesson is combining fill objects that have the same value. To do this, we'll go back to our fill 2048 script. Now there's a number of ways that we could go about combining fill objects, but the most important thing to consider is timing. We essentially want to double the value of the fill object that is moving and destroy the other fill object when the moving fill object gets to its new position. And so let's break it down by first doubling the value that's moving. To do this, I want to create a public function that we can call within our cell 2048 script. So this is going to be public void. We'll call it double. And we essentially want to take our value variable and do times equals two. We then need to update the display for this fill object. So value display dot text equals value dot two string parentheses semicolon. Let's then save this script and we'll go over to our cell 2048 script. Inside the script, we want to go to our doubled message that we're logging to the console. And we can replace this message with next cell dot fill Dot double and we want to do that for each of our slide functions after which we can save this script and we'll go back to our fill 2048 script now that should handle the doubling of our value variable and so next we want to handle destroying the other fill object for this I want to create a bool variable and we'll call it has combined. And then inside our update function, inside the if statement, I want to set has combined equal to false. We can then add in an else if statement where we're checking to see if has combined equals false. 
If it does, we then want to check to see if the first child of our current parent does not equal this current fill object. So if transform dot parent dot get child and we'll pass in index zero does not equal this dot transform if this if statement is true then we want to destroy that other child object so we'll call destroy and we'll pass in transform dot parent dot get child pass in a zero and then dot game object and the last thing that we want to do outside this if statement but within our else if statement is set the has combined equal to true. This will make it so that this else if statement only executes once, once our current fill object has reached its new position. All right, so let's save the script. We'll go back to Unity and test it out. All right, so I'm gonna press the space bar a couple times, and then we'll press W, and it looks like we had a few cells combined. And just to make sure it's working, if we look at each cell that has a child, there's only one child per cell. So let's add in a few more and do it again. Hey, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Our 2048 game is coming along quite nicely. There's just a couple more things that we need to do. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and go on to the next lesson.